Hello and welcome to this Inside Innovation at Xerox podcast, where we discuss new technologies and innovation happening inside the Xerox Innovation Group, the company's worldwide research and development organization. For Xerox, I'm Dee Alexander. What's the consistency of peanut butter, hardens in milliseconds on virtually any surface, and could open the door to a multi-billion dollar market for Xerox? It's a new breakthrough technology Xerox unveiled today at Drupa, the biggest printing industry trade show in the world. Cured Gel Ink is revolutionary inkjet printing technology that will take our solid ink to a new generation printing on any surface, including foils and plastics, at breakneck speed and quality. You may wonder why this is a big deal. This technology promises to make digital printing more attractive in existing markets and to open up the packaging market to Xerox. According to industry consultants, the worldwide digital print market for packaging was $580.7 million in 2005, and it is expected to grow to $6 billion in 2015. Listen in as Greg Kovacs, a scientist in Xerox's research lab in Webster, explains and shows us just what is unique about this new cured gel ink. Hello, I'm Greg Kovacs, manager of inkjet technology at the Xerox Research Center Webster, and I'm going to tell you today about a technology that Xerox is previewing called uh, cured gel ink technology. It prints on materials like plastic and foil, enabling digital printers to compete in areas like packaging to capture even more of the traditional offset print jobs, making up an estimated $400 billion market. The UV gel ink technology has grown out of our current solid ink technology, which is on the market today and forms the basis of a wide variety of desktop inkjet products. The advantages of solid ink are shown in this photomicrograph, which shows the ink spots formed by the solid ink when it hits the substrate. They're very well defined and stay on the surface, whereas conventional aqueous-based inkjet inks will soak through and give undesirable show-through on the back surface of the paper. Beyond printing on papers where our solid ink technology is greatly advantaged, there are also substrates of interest to the production printer, which are highly coated papers, metal films and foils, and for that set of substrates, a new breakthrough ink technology is required, which goes beyond the capabilities of both solid ink and aqueous inkjet. What you are going to see now is a conventional UV curable ink printing on aluminum foil. The time for printing 10 drops of ink is only about a tenth of a second, so you're seeing a greatly expanded time scale here as the ink drops fall onto the aluminum foil. Now we're going to look back and see in real time what happened in a space of one to two seconds after these drops were printed. And you can see that they've coalesced to a great extent and spread over large distances, no longer maintaining their shape and position on the substrate. In the next segment, we're going to look at the Xerox curable gel ink now, printing on aluminum. Again, in the beginning, the drops in this expanded time scale of about a tenth of a second while these initial drops are printing, they maintain their shape very well, as the conventional ink also did. But now as we look back in real time over a period of about one to two seconds, we can see that these drops have maintained their shape and are no longer spread out and uh, have no longer wandered from their position as the conventional ink did. This ability to maintain position gives very high image quality. We're now going to look at the same type of imagery on another substrate, a packaging substrate, called Melanex, which is a clear plastic substrate. Again, in the first tenth of a second, the conventional UV curable inks maintain their shape in this greatly uh, compressed time scale. But as we go back in real time and view to see what happened to them, in one to two seconds, we see that they've broken up and spread over large distances and are no longer, even in the initial positions, are no longer even visible on the substrate. Again, looking at the Xerox gel curable ink, as it's impinging on the substrate in the first tenth of a second, the drops look well formed, well defined, and as we'll see when we scan back to look at them in real time over the first one to two seconds after printing, that in fact these drops have now maintained their shape very well. They are exactly in the position where they should be and they will produce very high image quality on this substrate. 
These scientific tests you've just seen demonstrate how Xerox is well on its way to meeting the detailed image quality requirements for commercializing this technology. Stay tuned for more Inside Innovation news in the months to come. This podcast was recorded on May 28, 2008, and at the time of recording, all information was factually accurate. Because this will reside on the Internet for a period of time, Xerox assumes no duty to update the podcast to reflect new information. Listeners should visit www.xerox.com newsroom for up-to-date factual information.